Why do my nails keep breaking? Natural nails, enhancements, what is causing this extremely frustrating situation? We're gonna talk about it right now on the Biz Talk. Okay, holding for. There's something. I'd what like what are you doing? I have visine. <laughs> I have a, a razor blade. These are items. Essentials. Those are. Just, no, I'm good. Things We're you good do now. not want to be caught when pulled over in your pocket. Razor blade, visine. What? Why not? <laughs> Get the Let's razor blade. But what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Um, <laughs> so, one of the things. I keep seeing on community, I think these have come in DMs too, but on our text community, it's like a lot has come through. Right. This is more on natural nails. We're going to cover both, okay? Enhancements also. But why do my nails keep breaking? So um, I'm talking picture sent, like uh, like very detailed descriptions of like, I try this, I try that. I'm mm. trying everything, but they keep breaking. And then... So I want to hit this from basically two angles, Trace. I want to ask you about it on natural nails for those that have uh, very thin, brittle nails, right? And then also enhancements, like why do they keep breaking? And this is probably something maybe we see beginners um, experience. But natural nails, um, splitting, breaking, the frustration obviously is real on natural nails. Why does that happen? Because they're weak. <laughs> no, they, <laughs> well, well, we're I, good. I think, I think, I think we've assumed that the natural nails are weak. So, great check. We've, we're through that one. It could be a couple. I mean, there's a couple different reasons why. First of all, that your nails can be weak. Uh, it could be hereditary. It just kind of yeah, runs genetics. In the, it runs in the family, right? Um, it could be. I've seen. I actually used to be very guilty of this myself. Is I would buff my natural nails. It was kind of like oh. a, like just sitting on the couch and just like, you know, that super shiner thing. And you're just like shining and you do that a lot and you start weakening your nails because you're, you're wearing at that nail plate over and over. That is something I've seen a lot actually is just anywhere. Like even at friends' houses, I have friends, friends' houses. His um, mom, he's talking about his mom. <laughs> when I, my mom comes over. It's that holding the file yeah. and just casually having a conversation, watching television. Yeah. Even my wife does it. She'll sit there and just like... Sh- 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 it's relaxing. It's very yeah. relaxing, but you... You're taking it down. You're taking it down. If you do that over and over, some people do it every night. Right. You know, and it's just you're wearing on the, on the nail itself. So it could be that. It could be you just removed enhancements and it wasn't removed properly. So now... They went down too thin. Again, you're, right. you're removing nail plate and right. it's weak. Um then it could be just like, you know, sometimes your nails are nice and strong. You've been in a lot of water. They kind of get flimsy. You mm-hmm. hit it just right and it breaks. So, you know, there's just some preventative things you can try to do to yeah. to strengthen them up. Okay. So what are those? So that's my next question. Good timing. What are those things that you can do? Um, because that was the other uh, sort of communication that I got was no matter what I do, I cannot keep them. They just keep splitting or mm-hmm. breaking natural nails. So what is it that somebody can do to, to, to deal with that problem? Whether it's self-inflicted, obviously self-inflicted, stop. <laughs> stop, stop it. it. <laughs> Knock it off. We can't do anything for you. <laughs> exactly. Stop filing your nails, okay? If it's genetic, how does somebody sort of like protect them or keep them strong so they don't have to like deal with breakage and crack and all that stuff? You know, of course vitamins and stuff like that can always help there's there's different things out there that are made for hair and nails yeah those those are helpful um besides that what i used to like to do is i would take a base coat and a top coat i would base my nails sometimes i'd polish them maybe a sheer color and then i top coat and i top coat every day to every other day for seven days oh wow and so every night just top coat or every other night just top coat so instead of grabbing a file grab a top coat yeah and- yeah what you're doing is um first you're kind of prolonging the life of your manicure sure um because you're protecting it and protecting it and then you're you're building up 
almost like a little artificial to it. Like right. you're, you're, so some as thickness. they grow, as they're growing, you're you're building some thickness and some protection to it. And then okay. I would remove it like after seven days and start over. What about what about in overlay? Like getting an overlay, a gel overlay, acrylic overlay. That seems like it would almost be the best option because now you're actually building something on top. Am I right? Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. And this is what it depends. I see a lot of people who go, I'm going to put an artificial on my nail, right? Overlay or even a, a sculpted extension. And then I'm going to let my nails grow. And I'm okay. going to get them nice and long, longer than I've ever had them. And then mm. I'm going to remove all the artificial and I'm going to have these nice long nails. Oh, gotcha. And then they break because you don't have any protection over right, the top. And right. your nails don't normally aren't strong. You, you're, it was the acrylic that was strong. And so that's going to break. So if you want to do an overlay or something and keep it, yes. You got to keep, you got to keep maintenance. Maintenance. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Always the answer. It's not put it on one time, grow them to a long stiletto. And you're like, how long my stiletto is? It's like this long. It's pretty long stiletto. It's a long stiletto. Yes. And then remove it and think, I'm going to wash dishes and go on with my life. And now I have strong nails. It doesn't work that way. For those of you that are listening, um, <laughs> the Tracy literally, it was like a two foot nail. Those were her stilettos. Like, my fish was this big. <laughs> <laughs> so no, it's, it's my fish was this big. When this big, when this big, get it? No, no. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to move on. So, um, you, you have to keep it up. Yep. You got it. She finally got the joke. Oh my God. Oh my God. Sometimes it takes a while. Uh, we got there, Trace. Not, we got there. No. <laughs> <laughs> so um if if you're going to do enhancements obviously that's the best way but you've got to keep it up you, it makes total yeah. sense it makes it like so now you're on the journey of like you're now wearing enhancements you're now wearing enhancements right. so don't think you know, and I, I see it a lot but yeah don't think you're going to be able to do that and then take them off you, yeah you're 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 on the enhancement train that's now. it you can't get off there's <laughs> all no all aboard choo choo <laughs> there's, there's no, no <laughs> There's there's uh, no getting off this train. There's, there's no getting off. I've tried. <laughs> yeah. Today's Monday. We no. haven't shot on a Monday in a while. Um, we haven't shot in a while. Yeah, actually we haven't. We're going to shoot a lot of videos yeah. today. So seatbelts on. All right. Let's go on to why do my enhancements break now? It was funny because I was talking to Trace about this topic earlier. And uh, I asked this question in front of my mom. I was like, <laughs> What Tracy, this is a good topic. Why do my enhancements break? My mom just looked over. She goes, because they're doing it wrong. And Tracy's like, your mom should be on the podcast. Yeah, That's like, it. Me and her on it. I could be yes and no. And she could be like, because they're doing because it wrong. Because they're doing it wrong. And show over. Yeah, exactly. Done. Be like a two second episode. Um, yes, we know that obviously there's yeah. there's an application issue. But specifically breaking, like what is causing that? Like breakage in an artificial nail i think i'd like to go down two different paths on this one okay because are we going to skip down the paths not with you okay no. we're going to walk let's go i'm going to walk i'm going to walk backwards <laughs> out the door um because i've had this question too from nail techs about their clients okay. getting frustrated so I, I do want to discuss that too but if it's you um there could be a it could be just it's applied too thin and you don't have any structure. Um, it could be that you're just very hard on them. Maybe you're wearing the wrong uh, enhancement for you. Maybe your hands are in a lot of water and chemicals and you have acrylics on where gel would probably work better for you. Mm. You know, so it could be that. Um, some people insist like, I want a completely flat nail with no structure and then yeah. they don't understand why it breaks all the time. Right. It's like- You need an arch. You need an arch. You need, I, I've had clients come in who are like, I want it, they want it to look like a natural nail. And we try to get it thin and we try to make it look natural as possible, but you have to put product on there. like i told them it's like making an acrylic doll and thinking it won't break right you know, right right right, it, right if you drop it or if you hit it hard enough if you don't build structure um so those are possibilities another possibility might be if you are using tips versus sculpting it, ju it just mm. depends if you have a very flat i did the tips for a long time and I made a really good career out of it. I had a full clientele with tips, but sculpts really changed the game for me. I didn't understand why my customers were coming in and have that air pocket in the middle. I didn't know how to explain to them what was going on. I didn't get it. Well, what was happening is they had very flat nail beds. I'm trying to push this curved tip on mm -hmm. it and mm -hmm. you're relying on this drop of glue and right. 
the grace of God <laughs> that it's going to hold. And they're cleaning and they pop it. You know, usually it's just the straight on right. hit and it boop. And you're yep. like, where's this little air pocket in the middle? Right. From? So, I mean, those are all definite possibilities. If you're a nail tech going down the other path, if you're using tips, that's one reason. But I mean, come on guys, you know when your clients are messing with their nails. And sometimes it's just the conversation of, mm. uh, you have to have them thicker because a lot of times we want to give them what they want. Hey, I'm willing to try it, but if it doesn't work, we have to thicken them up. I see teeth marks. <laughs> Jeez. Has a dog been eating your nails lately? You know, <laughs> I haven't buttoned them. Mm. Mm -hmm. As mm -hmm. as their friend that's sitting with them is like, <laughs> you know, constantly. constantly biting. So you know, it's sometimes because I, I, I feel bad. I, I I'll talk to techs and they're like, I don't know what I'm doing with this one client. I, it I just makes me feel so bad. It yeah. makes me feel like I'm not any good. 99,000 of their other clients are perfectly are fine, totally but they're fine. going to focus on that one. And it's, it's, sometimes it's the client and what they're doing. To them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how, how can somebody start the process of like assessing that? Like you went through this whole list of things it, that there's a lot of things that it could be that can lead to breakage, whether it's you or your client. Right. I mean, how do you start to assess? You right. know what I mean? Like, I, I like to me when I hear that, I'm I'm like, oh my god! I mean, it sounds overwhelming. I know I know it's probably not not for you because you're experienced. But how do you start on the path of like trying to figure out what is cause? Is it, you know, maybe it is that trace where yeah. you're like, okay. Are they flat? Do you have an upper arch first? Yeah, Let's kind of start checklist, right? Checklist, yeah. And so what would that look like? I mean, are you using tips? Is the tip sized correctly? Yeah, that's another thing. If your tip's too small, it's going to pop. And we all do that when we first start, especially because we want that narrow nail. So we're right. like forcing it down <laughs> because we don't want to put the wider nail on. So yeah, right. and then it just pops. Just pops up. Yeah. Looking at the thinness. The like, thinness from the profile, right? You're going to look at the profile yeah. and see, is it flat or does it actually have an arch? Yeah. And we have a ton of videos. You should find them. Just look up, you know, upper arch, young nails, apex, uh, apex yeah. young nails. That's going to really help you, um, I think, that. determine yeah. that as yeah. well. And we have some on sizing on uh, tips. I know a lot of people say, you guys never use tips, but we do have some videos on them yeah. um, that will be very helpful. Um, so really where number one, I would start with, is it too thin? Mm. Is it tips? Is it okay? They're not too thin. I got a lot of product on there. Is the tip popping? Is it right? Is right. that releasing? Is that why it's happening? Where is it breaking? Right. Is it breaking at the, the very tip. tip? You know, maybe you got it too thin there mm -hmm. or is it breaking at the stress area? Mm. You got a tooth in there. Right, you upper know, arch. You need an upper arch. Are you making sure that you're covering everything from the sidewalls out? Because we tend, again, because we want the nail to look small. Right. And thin, we tend to shortchange those sidewalls sometimes. Sure. So stuff like that, just kind of marking it down. As a nail tech, that's going to come with experience. Yeah. Um, but that's a good. confidence. For sure. But that's a good, I feel like that's a good at least starting point for somebody who is, uh, maybe experiencing this and doesn't know where to begin, start there. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. and, and take a look at those things. Watch these videos. I think that's going to help tremendously. Let us know how you deal with breakage, natural nails or enhancements, what you've done to sort of overcome these issues. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. Thank you guys very much for joining us. And we'll see you next time on the BizTalk. Talk.